So last year around Thanksgiving, we had one of my colleagues moving from the United States over to Dublin and she has celiac as well. But something I didn't know is that she was also allergic against eggs. So I was like, hmm. It was my first challenge to think about how do I make a gluten-free and vegan pie? Because if it's dairy-free and egg-free, it is, it is really a vegan pie. So she put this new challenge to me, how to make a vegan, gluten-free, sweet potato pie. Because apparently that's her boyfriend's favorite pie. So this refined, gluten-free, vegan, sweet potato pie recipe is for you too. For my sweet potato pie, I normally like my sweet potatoes roasted. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to peel my potatoes and oil them and then roast them for about 15 to 20 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So here are my sweet potatoes and I'm going to peel them now. And now I'm going to cut them into one inch or two centimeter chunks. Here are my cut up sweet potatoes and I put them on a roasting pan. So I'm going to drizzle some oil over the sweet potatoes and I like to use sunflower oil or a flavorless oil. I'm going to use about one tablespoon and then I'm going to quick mix it a little bit up and I'm going to put the sweet potatoes now in the oven to roast. In the meantime, while my potatoes are roasting, I'm gonna make my pie crust. I did make my vegan gluten-free pie crust yesterday, put it in the fridge, chilled it overnight, and the recipe for a gluten-free pie crust, you can find in my channel. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of my pie crust flour combination on my parchment paper, and I'm gonna roll out my dough. And I wanna roll it out that it's about a quarter inch thick, or half a centimeter. And then I'm going to flip the pie crust into the pie pan. And I'm carefully pulling off the parchment paper. And for this pie crust I want again more of a rustic look. So I'm going to fold in a little bit of the crust here. And I want to make sure I work fast to avoid melting the butter with my hands. For this pie crust I really just want to pinch the edges. And here's my pie crust. I want to bake the crust completely and then I'm going to fill in my vegan sweet potato pie filling. So I do want to add now some pie weights to my pie crust before I'm going to pre-bake the pie crust. For that though, I need to line my pie crust with some parchment paper to make sure that the pie weights don't get stuck to the pie crust. I'm going to fold the parchment paper now and I normally use some of the parchment paper I used for rolling out the pie crust. And I'm going to cut it into a cone shape just like this. And with that, I can use the parchment paper as pie shield. I'm going to add now the parchment paper inside of the pie crust and I'm going to use the bunzo beans as my pie weights and bend down the parchment paper. I can also cut into it just to fold it a little bit more. The pie is ready and I can put it now into the oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. And while my pie crust is baking, I'm going to start off making my pie filling. And I'm going to start with making my own cashew milk or cashew cream. So I want to make my fresh cashew cream and for that I'm gonna use 200 grams of cashews. I'm gonna add about two cups of hot water to it and I'm gonna let it soak now for about five to ten minutes just to soften up the cashews before I make my cashew cream. And while the cashews are soaking for the cashew cream I'm gonna get started on the rest of my filling. I'm gonna weigh now my other ingredients which I will be using for my sweet potato filling. And I want to weigh about 150 grams of dark brown sugar. And I'm going to use 
half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and quarter teaspoon of nutmeg and a pinch of cloves which is about a quarter teaspoon I think my cashews have soaked long enough and now I'm gonna blend them to make my cashew cream and I want to do that on low speed because the last time I made a mess And I want to strain now the nut milk into the bowl and I'm going to use a nut milk bag. Now I want to squeeze the nut milk bag to get that delicious cashew cream. It's a little bit hot. You want to maybe wait a little bit and let it cool down and get it to room temperature. So I let it cool down a little bit. I'm going to meantime add my roasted sweet potatoes. To the nut milk. That's about 600 grams of roasted potatoes and I'm gonna blend this again. It's pretty thick though and it's not blending very well so I need a little bit more water. I'm gonna measure about half a cup. I'm gonna blend it and hope I have now enough water. It's pretty thick though and it's not blending very well so I'm gonna add another half cup of water and it is now finally a pretty smooth puree and it should be a pretty smooth puree by now and I'm gonna transfer now my sweet potato puree to the pot I'm gonna warm it up under low heat I do want to thicken up the sweet potato puree a bit um, I want to give it a little bit of a creamier taste while the sweet potatoes is heating up, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of cornstarch, add some hot water, gonna mix it with a small spatula, gonna add the cornstarch to the sweet potato puree. And that will help giving the puree a gooier and creamier texture. I'm also gonna add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. The last thing I have left to do is add about 110 grams of coconut oil and that will harden the sweet potato fill. I'm using refined coconut oil because it's flavorless. Well, I'm gonna make it 150 grams and I'm gonna mix and melt the coconut oil into the sweet potato puree filling. Okay, here's the sweet potato filling. You don't have to bake it because there are no eggs in it. I'm also going to whisk the sweet potato puree just to make sure there are no coconut oil chunks and also to make sure it completely dissolved. Here's my finished vegan pie crust. I took it out of the oven and let it cool down and now I'm going to carefully remove the pie weight. And now I'm going to pour the sweet potato pie filling into the crust. I want to shake the pie pan just a teeny little bit to make sure the filling smoothens and evens out on the top and it looks much prettier. Here's my sweet vegan gluten-free potato pie and it is really delicious. You couldn't even taste this is vegan and gluten-free. And if you think it's low fat or it's super healthy, it's definitely not. The coconut oil does add quite a bit of calories to it, but it is for Thanksgiving. And who's counting calories on Thanksgiving? I hope you enjoyed today's show. And if you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any upcoming videos. And if you have any comments, feedback, ideas, which I can try out, please make sure to add them below in the comment box. And I see you next week. Bye.